Everything you think you know about our universe, our reality, is on the verge of a revolution. Groundbreaking research from Harvard scientists challenges the very foundations of our understanding. They're exploring tantalizing possibilities that point towards the existence of parallel universes, dimensions existing parallel to our own. Prepare to confront a mind-bending new reality, one where the laws of physics as we know them might not apply, and the impossible becomes possible. Katie rocks. You ever hop in the shower first thing in the morning and it feels like literal paradise? Otherworldly, some would say. Well, a new TikTok trend has me meditating in the shower now. Apparently, here we go. TikTok users left, right, and center are stepping forward, or rather backwards, with their claims on entering parallel universes. Nashville model Katie rocks recently kicked this off and she used the social media platform to recall a 2017 trip to Paris that some of her classmates claimed missed the flight, although Katie saw them with her own eyes. I remember walking on that aircraft past two of my friends and sitting like three rows behind them. Then the four of us took a taxi back to the apartments we were staying in while we were in school and I distinctly remember this. Two days later they're talking about how they weren't three rows in front of us and to this day I have no idea why they remember missing the flight. That's way too close to the plot of Final Destination. Honestly this creeps me out just reading about it. I can't even begin to unravel this one. No way. The same user, Katie Rocks, posted again a month later. This time saying she's since discovered the ability to shift realities. Showers. Hot Showers are the key, apparently. I would have guessed baths, but showers are cool too. We'll, we'll take those. Number nine, a familiar face. Username High Life No Miller Light posted this one a couple months back on Reddit. Great name, also, gotta, gotta say, that's a really good name. It's since got a lot of attention. Uh, let me know what you think. They say, I'm from a very dry, hot state in the US, and I was visiting California on a trip with my wife. While out eating, we both witnessed a person that looked exactly like me. Same typical mid fade and head dents inherited from my father. Same body type only chubby rather than my more slim and athletic frame. I saw the side profile from the back as they walked away from view and it was my exact face. That's so creepy. My wife had a direct view but could not remember directly what my face looked like. But she noted similarities from my body to head and even the way that I walked. I couldn't believe what we saw. Any thoughts? Question mark? I mean, if you didn't mention the head dents and got that specific, this wouldn't have stuck with me like it did. I also love the subtle roast on the other you. You're like, yeah, this guy was just like me, only, you know, not ripped. Otherwise, that's quite creepy. Thanks for sharing. Number eight, quantum leap. So yeah, I went down that rabbit hole I talked about and I discovered another TikTok. How fun, we love these, awesome. This quantum leap was obtained by Marion Valenza. She took to the social media platform to implore others to take the leap. You know, no more manifestation Mondays. The key to these quantum leaps is a hot shower. Yeah, a hot shower, how convenient is that? Thank God it doesn't suck, you know? Thank God it's not a cold ice bath or else no one would know. Valenza explains the first rule here. Number one is that you wanna give yourself enough time because you don't want to rush this, obviously. You want to do this with intentionality, she says. Yeah, sorry I'm late, boss. I don't want to rush my hot quantum shower. You know how it is. He's like, oh yeah, classic. Next step is to literally visualize the water cleansing you so that it removes all your limiting beliefs, the negative thoughts that you have, all the things holding you back from stepping into your higher self. Visualize not currently being late for work. And then there you go, you're set. I'm gonna try this tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna have a hot quantum shower and arrive at 10.15. Number seven, Sleep Street. This one comes from username Oopsies. It's like Oopsies, but with a bit more O. Oh. Reoccurring dreams have never been so haunting. Forgot, it's a dark list. Here we go. Ever since I was a teenager, I've dreamed about an alternate life where I go to university and work in a city that I've never been in. It started around when I was 16 or 17 and now I'm 25. It's super detailed where I go on hikes, I hang out with friends, I bike through neighborhoods and do mundane everyday life things. The university is outside of a major city and I'm always exploring nature, beaches, islands, all that jazz. Last night I was feeling sick and in return had one of the most vivid dreams I've had in a long time. I met someone and developed a deep relationship that felt incredibly emotional and real. Luckily I woke up right when I was trying to navigate Google Maps to drive to a park so I remember the streets that we were on. The street was called Dutch Island Road. I never heard of it in real life so I decided to look it up. The only thing that popped up was a rural area in Rhode Island. It wasn't exactly the same layout of the roads I remember on the map but the nature and area looked eerily similar to what I saw while driving. I start looking around the area, clicking different locations, and I start to freak out on how everything looks just like in my dream. Mind you, I've never been to Rhode Island, but the weirdest part is that specific buildings in the Rhode Island University and Warwick area ones, those are the same ones that I saw in my dream all the time. I've always thought that my dreams are a glimpse of living in an alternate universe, and I feel like this detail solidifies the potentiality of it being a reality. Thoughts? Uh, too many big words. Those are my thoughts. Potentiality, potentiality. I'm gonna start using that in the next list. You'll hear that from me in the future, for sure. Otherwise, so scary. Hope that goes away. Or doesn't? I don't know. Do you like it? I, would, I wouldn't like that. If I dreamt about an alternate life, I'm like, yeah, I actually have two jobs. It's exhausting. I never sleep. Number six. 
time travel. Yes, time travel could take us to parallel universes. Time travel is the hypothetical activity of traveling into the past or future, but I truly think it's real. Why? Well, for some proof, there are a lot of celebrities who seem to look exactly like past historical figures. Take Anne Hathaway and her husband, Adam Schulman, they are just the tip of the iceberg. Now everyone's heard of William Shakespeare, but what you probably don't know about the famous English playwright is that he had a wife named Anne Hathaway. But that's not the scary part. Adam looks exactly like William Shakespeare. Perhaps him and his wife came back for some unfinished business and to provide the world with more art. Everyone on the internet believes this as people have said they came back for each other, eternal lovers, and history hath a way of repeating itself. Get it? Wink, wink, nudge. Yeah? No? Okay. And one fan claims Shakespeare made a deal with his wife, I get to be famous in this life and you get to be famous in the next. I truly do believe this, the resemblance is uncanny. There's so many other celebrities as well, so it seems like people wanted to come back to earth as other people, or they were born as the wrong person in our universe. Number 5. The Multiverse Yes, the multiverse is a real thing and it wasn't just created for the MCU. The multiverse is a hypothetical set of all universes. Together, these universes are presumed to compromise of everything that exists, the entirety of space, time, matter, energy, information, and the physical laws and constants that describe them. The different universes within the multiverse are called parallel universes. One common assumption is that the multiverse is a patchwork quilt of separate universes all bound by the same laws of physics. The concept of multiple universes, or a multiverse, has been discussed throughout history with origins in ancient Greek philosophy. It has evolved over time and has been debated in various fields, including cosmology, physics, and philosophy. Although some scientists have analyzed data in search of evidence for other universes, no statistically significant evidence has ever been found, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. The anthropic principle suggests that the existence of a multitude of universes, each with different physical laws, could explain the fine tuning of our own universe for conscious life. Number 4. The Mandela Effect The Mandela Effect is an observed phenomenon in which a large segment of the population misremembers a significant event or shares a memory of an event that did not actually occur. Fiona Broom, a paranormal researcher, coined the term to describe collective false memory when she discovered that a significant number of people at a conference she was attending in 2010 shared her memory that Nelson Mandela died in prison during during the 1980s. In fact, the former president of South Africa was released from prison in 1990 and was very much alive at the time of the conference. This has caused an uproar on the internet with people discussing their experiences. Specific examples include the quote from the Snow White fairy tale, which most people believe say mirror mirror on the wall, but is actually magic mirror on the wall. The Star Wars movies encounter a similar circumstance with the quote, Luke, I am your father. The real line reads though, no, I I am your father. Furthermore, many people collectively have false memories of how the Bearstein Bears book series title is spelt. Most people remember the name as Bearstein Bears using an E instead of the correct A in the last part of the name. But it was an E, I swear. Similarly, many people believe the name of the popular hot dog brand, Oscar Meyer, is spelt Oscar Meyer using an E in the last name instead of the proper A. It's said for the people who remember things incorrectly were in a different universe and then somehow got trans transferred to this universe. I don't know, but the Mandela effect is extremely real and scary. Number 3. Glitches in the Matrix What is this? While some people believe that we live in a simulation that is controlled by other people in a different universe, a parallel universe. These glitches are events that seem comparable to the effects of errors in computer programs or their execution. Some examples of these include objects vanishing and sometimes reappearing, people being seen by different witnesses at different locations at the same time, or not being seen in places where they should be, aka people vanishing, often for considerable amount of times, often with multiple searches, then reappearing and claiming they never left the spot. Changes in everyday familiar objects and time slips and time freezes, where people interact with different time periods, or where they observe all movement and noises cease over a relatively short or larger area. Some glitches have even been caught on camera. Now the idea that we are just test subjects and they control everything terrifies me, and if you guys were listening, I would love it if you could add a million dollars to my bank account, please. Number 2. Real Experiences 
There are real stories of people experiencing themselves seemingly switching universes. One online user told this story, It's been about a week and I am still trying to wrap my head around the fact that I might have died in another timeline and just jumped to this one. Background, I was driving down PCH, a very long highway up the coast of California at 8.15pm exactly. And I know this because I called my mom to let her know I was stopping to watch the sunset. As I'm watching the sunset, I hear a car's horn blaring. I turn around and see a car coming straight towards my car and myself, and then suddenly I'm sitting on the ground. Very confused, a headache is starting to come on, but I wasn't hit. My car wasn't hit, and I'm still breathing. Obviously freaked out, I get back up and check my phone to call my mom because this is just crazy, and I notice it's 8.13pm. I check my phone to see if I actually did call her, but there's no history of it. I shake the nerves off and decide to just get home quickly, thinking maybe that was foreshadowing an event I did not want to relive. Once I'm home, my mom asked me why I called her and just hung up. I asked what time, she said 8.15pm. There's still no history of me calling her on my phone. Am I crazy or did I just jump timelines? And guess what, people? There are thousands of stories just like this. It can't be a coincidence, can it? And coming in at number one, we've created our own universe. Yep. You heard that right. In 2013, researchers at the University of Maryland, College Park, and Townsend University had reported that they created multiple universes inside a laboratory created multiverse. The researchers created a metamaterial like those used in fashion invisibility cloaks that when light passes through it, multiple universes are formed within it. These universes, called Minikowski space times, are similar to our own, except they more neatly tie up Einstein's theory of special relativity by including time as a fourth dimension. While this is rather extraordinary, the experimental setup is actually quite simple, though definitely rather unconventional. The multiverse is created inside a solution of Colbit and kerosene. So yeah, we made our own universe, thus proving there are parallel universes. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is the mecca when it comes to mysterious disappearances and rumors and urban legends, so of course it had to make it onto this list. The Triangle, which sits in between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda earned its deadly reputation starting back in the 1970s. Since then, there has been about 80 aircrafts and 60 boats that have gone missing in the triangle, which only fueled rumors that there was some sort of force or supernatural cause that was making this area one where people would often go missing. There have been intense electrical forces and tunnel-like clouds reported in the triangle, which some believe is the cause for the disappearances, some others believe it's weather patterns, some believe it's the entrance to a parallel universe or a place where aliens like to abduct their victims, and some people like to dismiss the idea that there's any sort of mystery at all. At this point, exactly what is going on with the Bermuda Triangle remains a mystery. In our number 9 spot today, we have the Oregon Vortex. Just off of Interstate 5 in Southern Oregon lies what is called the Oregon Vortex. According to local legend, it is said that this area and the strange and mysterious stories surrounding it aren't just modern legends, but that perhaps it stems back further. People have said that the stories of the Oregon Oregon Vortex actually stem back to when indigenous Americans referred to it as the Forbidden Land. It is said that during these times, people traveling on horses would often find that their horses would be refusing to go into the area, so clearly something strange was going on in there that was spooking the animals. Scientists have speculated that the land might contain some kind of crossed magnetic lines that produce some sort of force field, but whatever it really is, the place is truly strange. Things appear very differently here, it's sort of like an optical illusion. The area is basically a parallel universe in itself. In our number 8 spot today, we have the Challenger Deep. The Challenger Deep is the deepest known point in our ocean, around 10,900 meters deep. It is located in the Pacific Ocean in the southern part of the Mariana Trench, and because of its location, lack of light, and immense pressure, it hasn't been explored very much. The extreme environment has certainly set up for there to be a whole host of species that we know absolutely nothing about, but it is not an area that can be easily explored by humans. The Challenger Deep has only been visited four times and only for short periods of time, so there is so much more that is waiting to be uncovered at this deep, dark part of our ocean. And I don't know about you, but I feel like there are insane amounts of ocean creatures that could fully be aliens. They are so strange and interesting and unique, so who in the world knows what really lurks down there? In our number seven spot today, we have Point Nemo. I'm sure there's a few of us out there who dream of time alone, away from other people, and Point Nemo is exactly that. It's like a pair 
parallel universe where if you were to visit, you'd feel like you were the only person on Earth. This is the most remote location on Earth. It's officially known as the Oceanic Hole of Inaccessibility because it is the furthest point away from land. This area is surrounded by more than a thousand miles of ocean in every direction. There are obviously no humans who live even close to Point Nemo, which is why it is called that in the first place, Nemo being Latin for no one. This location is so isolated that the closest people to Nemo aren't even on this Earth. Since the inhabited areas closest to the point is over a thousand miles away, the humans aboard the ISS are way closer than anyone on land. Truly just wild. Kind of sounds like a dream. Kind of sounds like a nightmare. Next Reddit user is NYZ312, who discusses a very strange incident when they may have died and shown up in another timeline. They write, I've never really discussed this with anyone, but thought this may be the place to at least see what you think. I was driving down a street that is somewhat busy, four lanes to each way, and there was a light rain. I came to a light that I wanted to turn left, Cross traffic, there's no dedicated turning lane. I waited till I thought it was clear, but just as I turned left, someone came around the inner opposite lane and I could see we were going to collide. I closed my eyes. The next thing I knew, I was on the street I intended to turn on, two blocks up on the side of the street, just sitting there, no collision. I gathered myself and went on, but I think about it a lot. My scar is on the wrong side, posted by Charming Medium. This will sound weird, but I have to share this, so I'll explain. When I was very young, I was diagnosed with leukemia. I'm now cancer free, thankfully, but back then I had a port cath installed. It was on my left side. It was always on my left side. Once it was removed, I had a scar on my left side. I don't know how or when, but the scar is now on my right side. I can't even begin to explain how. About three years ago, I remember looking at my left side and being unable to find it. I looked around to see where it may have moved, but I couldn't find it. I eventually forgot about it. And sometime last year when I got out of the shower, I noticed it. It was on my right side. I asked my grandmother about it. I asked what side my port was on. As expected, she said it was my left. And she was just as confused as I was about it being on my right side. It still bothers me. And I think about it sometimes. It makes me uneasy in a way I can't explain. I always joked about the whole glitch in the Matrix stuff, the Mandela effect and everything. I don't know what to think anymore. Posted to Reddit by Balthazar, she writes about a disturbing incident she had in class that led to a series of disturbing dreams. It started around the time I had just gotten into high school. So around the time I was about 12 to 13, I guess. It was register period on the first day back after school holidays. We all wait for our names to be read and each of us reply. The teacher reads out a name and nobody answers. Out of nowhere, I get this feeling like someone just ripped my stomach out and replaced it with ice cubes. I find it odd, but I can't shake the feeling. Anyway, about five minutes later, another new student enters the class and my jaw almost drops. Except for having red hair, she could have been my twin. The teacher sits her near me and I can't stop staring. She notices me and looks just as astonished. We begin a conversation, but the uneasy feeling stays with me. About 10 minutes later, the principal walks into the classroom and I freeze and clutch the desk. Here it comes. The teacher notices and walks over to the principal. They lean in together and he whispers something to her. She nods and he steps forward facing class. I'm sorry class, but Miss X, the girl not present at register that morning, has passed away over the holidays. She took her own life. I tuned out for the rest of what she said and just started crying uncontrollably. And that set off the rest of the class. The dreams started after this. I cannot say why, as I don't know. To go into each and every specific dream would be insanity. It is, it's a very detailed. Let's just say when people I have had contact with, no matter how briefly in life, are about to die, I dream their deaths about three days beforehand. I will simply state that it is not possible to be mere coincidence based on how many people's deaths I have dreamt. Two colleagues I have worked with, three grandparents, one great grandfather, one friend's grandfather, two school teachers, one lady I met briefly for five minutes one day at work, at least three friends all dead within three days of my dreams. Make of it what you will. 
This next post is called, I may have saved my dad in another universe. It was posted by Karina Nebula 89 and it reads, My dad died a year ago and a few months later, I had a dream that felt as real as reality being wide awake. He was alive in that dream and I was very confused about that. I remembered the police report I read. He died in his apartment, luckily seemingly in his sleep and the police had to break in. He lived in a social house building in which they checked the tenants daily and when he didn't open the door, they called the police. I remembered the time of death on the police report and in that dream, that time of date had not happened yet. Another reason why this dream felt so real, I could see dates and everything on my phone clearly. Everything was logical and time passed normally like it would while being awake. But the time was approaching. I made a plan to get him to the hospital, but he was taking his sweet time getting ready and I was getting anxious because I knew the time of death was soon, but he did not really get why I was getting so serious about leaving. Eventually I checked my phone again and the time was right after the time of death on the police report and my dad was still alive and well. I was baffled. He still went to the hospital, but while he was on the way there, I woke up. This next post is from Witty Turnover 5585 and reads, So I'm scrolling YouTube a little bit ago and see a video titled The 11 Day Disappearance of Agatha Christie. And I thought it was a mistake. So I watched the video and a few others to see, sure enough, she was only missing for 11 days. But I vividly remember my favorite show growing up, Unsolved Mysteries, having an episode about her disappearance. And in this episode, she kisses her daughter, walks out the back door, and vanishes, never to be seen again. I thought at the time it was weird because I'd learned about her in school and had to do a book report at one time. So I searched for this particular episode and there is one of her, but again, she was only gone for 11 days. I think I skipped universes at some point because that's not the history where I'm from. Anyone else have something similar happen? Next up, we have a post by N-A-O-I-Y-I-I. -I. Don't know how to pronounce that. It's entitled, My Maybe Experience in a Different Universe. It was in the middle of the night and I had just woke up. I don't know why I woke up, but I was up. I felt weird. I felt like it was super quiet, like too quiet. I know it was the middle of the night, but it was weird. I felt like everything was down in scale, like my room was smaller, my bed was smaller, and everything was. I was so confused. It was also pitch black outside, like no lights at all. It was weird, and I started crying and ran to my mom's room. My mom was looking at me weird, and she asks me, what's wrong? I told her, I don't know where I am, with a crying tone, and she just looked at me like I'm crazy. She told me I can lay with her if I want. I was 11 at the time and I won't forget it. I swear everything was too quiet and dark. When I woke up, I felt completely normal and it seemed like nothing had happened. My mom also, for some reason, didn't even know I went into her room that night, but maybe she was just too tired to remember. And finally, we have a Reddit post by Equal Stance 99 entitled, Shirt suddenly went missing and then appeared a few days later. Hi, I've had a few encounters throughout my life that are mostly explainable using logic. However, I cannot find any explanation to this experience. I took some pants and shirt out of my cupboard and put them on my bed to get dressed. I turned around, closed the cupboard, but when I turned back around to get dressed, the shirt was just missing. I searched everywhere, but I just couldn't find it. Yesterday, the shirt appeared back in my cupboard, neatly folded as if I had never touched it. I am positive that I didn't miss it because upon its return, it was on the top of all my shirts and no other one is that color. I am beyond bewildered at this simple yet unexplainable occurrence. And we're starting off the list with the bubble universes theory. So imagine the universe right after the Big Bang, acting kind of like a giant balloon, rapidly inflating. This is the main concept of the cosmic inflation theory. According to this theory, the early universe expanded extremely quickly. Now here's where it gets kind of interesting. Picture this rapid expansion like different regions of the balloon inflating at their own speeds. In some areas inflation happens a bit faster, in others it's a bit slower. This creates pockets or bubbles within this expanding universe, kind of like different regions on the surface of the inflation 
rotating balloon. In each of these bubbles, a unique set of physical laws and conditions takes shape. Each bubble becomes its own little universe with its own rules of how things work, its own arrangement of matter, energy, and who knows what else. Next up we have cold spots. So imagine you're an astrophysicist looking at the vastness of space. Back in 2015, scientists in Hawaii noticed something strange, a, a huge empty patch where there should have been 10,000 galaxies. They call it a cold spot because it seemed like everything there had just vanished. Now, scientists at Durham University came up with a pretty fascinating idea about this mysterious cold spot. They think it might be because our universe collided with another universe, almost like two giant soap bubbles bumping into one another. When these universes collide, it could push all the energy and stuff out of a specific area, creating a big empty space. The cold spot. We might be living in one bubble universe out of trillions, and this cold spot could be the aftermath of a collision with another bubble universe. It's a bit like when two ripples in a pond meet and create a calm spot in the water. All right, now this one is pretty cool, even though it has math in the title. It's the mathematical multiverse theory. This idea centers around the concept that our entire universe is like a giant cosmic equation, and every bit of it, from tiny particles to vast galaxies, can be described and understood using math. Understood by other people and not by me, because math was just, I, I get sick even just saying the word. That's the core idea, though, behind the mathematical universe theory. This theory suggests that there are countless mathematical structures and each one represents a different universe. Since there are infinite mathematical possibilities, this would also mean, in theory, an infinite number of universes. So think of it a bit like this. Our universe is just one solution to the grand mathematical equation that is existence. In this mathematical multiverse, each universe has its own unique set of rules and conditions, an infinite collection of parallel universes where physics and math can be totally different from what we know. For instance, one example I tend to use, in one universe, gravity might act in a way that pulls things sideways, while in another, it might pull things up. If you're unaware, our gravity pulls us down, but the possibilities are really endless in this theory. Next on the list, of course, black holes. I mean, we gotta talk about black holes in a video like this. Black holes are mysterious regions in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, even light, can escape their gravitational pull. In the traditional understanding, once something crosses the event horizon of a black hole, it seemingly is just gone forever, lost to the singularity at the center. But some physicists have a different idea idea that black holes could lead to parallel universes. It's called the wormhole hypothesis. This idea here is that a black hole could potentially connect to a white hole or another region of space-time through a tunnel-like structure called a wormhole. A white hole is a hypothetical region where matter and light are ejected, basically the opposite of a black hole. I mean, really, it, that is the opposite. So instead of being forever stuck inside the black hole, the matter and information falling into a black hole might be transferred through a wormhole to another region of space or even a completely separate universe, almost acting like a bridge between our universe and a parallel one. In our number six spot today, we have Kawa Ijen. Located in Indonesia, this is one of the most remarkable and interesting places on Earth. Firstly, this active volcano emits hot, flammable, sulfurous gas. Gases. These gases ignite as they enter the oxygen-rich atmosphere of Earth, and this causes them to burn with a stunning blue flame. Further scientific processes also allows for there to be a flow of molten sulfur that also has that same striking blue flame. At night is really when you get quite a show from this coloring, as it quite literally looks like a flow of blue lava. The other incredible thing about this location is that there is a one kilometer wide caldera that is filled with turquoise blue water. The watercolor, while it looks gorgeous, is a result of extreme acidity as well as a high concentration of dissolved metals. It is an astonishing place to look at and really is quite magnificent. In our number five spot today, we have the Devil's Kettle. This area is said to hold one of Minnesota's greatest mysteries. As the Brule River flows through in order to make its way toward Lake Superior, there is a point where it makes an 800 foot drop in eight miles. Because of this journey through time, waterfalls have been created as the water erodes the rocky terrain. One waterfall in particular is the one that 
that we want to talk about today. The stream splits into two as it falls over the edge. One of the two streams flows exactly how you would think it does, while the other is a little more mysterious. On this side, the water rushes into a cavern that seems to go nowhere. The cavern never fills up somehow, but no one can figure out where the water is going. It's a strange phenomenon that has resulted in the fall gaining the nickname the Devil's Kettle. It is said that people have tried to place things in the water that might help show them where the water is flowing to, but despite these efforts, the items were just never seen again. In our number four spot today, we have the Pyramids of Giza. One of the most mysterious places on earth has to be the Pyramids of Giza. I mean, how? For centuries, people have wondered and tried to find answers as to how they were built at all, let alone with limited resources and without the use of modern technology. And they've been around for the last 4,000 years, so the durability alone is outstanding. This alone is the source of much mystery, but that's only the outside of them. What lies on the inside might just be even more so. The pyramids of Giza, especially the Great Pyramid of Giza, were believed to have been built as tombs for rulers and other wealthy people. That totally makes sense, except for the fact that there hasn't been any mummies found inside of them. Instead, there is just a plethora of secret, unexplored rooms, hidden doors and mirrors, you know, just regular ancient Egypt stuff. Many of these secret rooms remain completely unexplored over fear of damage. One more strange thing about these incredible creations, before we move on though, they were built on the center of the earth. However they did this, they aligned them perfectly with Orion's belt, with no technology, just pure brilliance. I'm just saying, if any where is going to take you to a parallel universe, these pyramids will take you back in time to a completely different world. In our number three spot today, we have the Crooked Forest. Forests are already creepy. This one looks like it's straight out of a Tim Burton film. The Crooked Forest in Poland. There's around 400 odd shaped pine trees near the town Grafino. These trees are about 90 years old, and all of them, from the base, they immediately bend towards the north and then slowly curve back towards the sky like the other trees. Despite the odd bend, these trees are otherwise healthy. There's been so many theories, but none of them really stick. Some suggest it was a gravitational anomaly, but that's a little too far-fetched for me. I don't know. This isn't interstellar, right? Other theories claim that there were heavy snowfalls that would weigh down the branches, which could check out, but why is it just a select amount? I've also lived in Canada my entire life. We have lots of snow, and I've never seen a sleepy hollow tree before. My favorite theory is that farmers were trying to make the tree curved on purpose to make stronger wheels, because the grain direction would make for naturally curved wheels. Again though, nobody knows for sure. What are your thoughts? Do we like the wheel theory? I'm just gonna keep a spare tree tire just in case. Keep it stored safely in the trunk. Okay, jokes, I'm funny. In our number two spot today, we have the Catatumbo River. Basically, in western Venezuela, right over the Catatumbo River, there are these insane, intense lightning storms, and it's a complete atmospheric phenomenon. This lightning occurs 140 to 160 nights a year, 9 hours per day, and from 16 to 40 times per minute. That is absolutely insane. That is so much lightning. Another thing that's so fascinating about this lightning is that it is colorful, and it doesn't produce any thunder. The lightning does change its frequency up from time to time, and at one point it stopped for a few weeks and people thought that maybe it was going to have been exhausted forever, but that changed when the lightning came back, putting it right back on our list of mysteries that we just can't quite figure out. Many people have studied the lightning, trying to figure out how exactly it has been created and what makes this phenomena what it is, but we just aren't quite sure yet. And finally, in our number one spot today, we have the reverse waterfall. This mysterious and strange location is another one that comes from India. Here, there is a waterfall, but it's got a catch. While we all, of course, expect to see water cascading down, when we think of a waterfall, this strange location instead sees the water moving towards the sky. Some people believe it's because of some anti-gravitational force, others think it's due to the heavy air pressure, and I'm not a scientist, so I'll let you decide. While this is certainly quite a strange place, it also definitely delivers when it comes to beauty. I think even if the water flowed down like a normal waterfall, this area would still see a lot of tourists just because of the immense natural beauty. Hello, we are not available now. And we're starting things off with a very eerie story posted to Reddit by Florengo, who writes, This happened about 15 years ago. I called my friend up and he wasn't home, so I left a message on his answering machine. I said, hey, it's me. Sorry, I missed you. Call you later. Bye. 
and then I hung up and left the house. I made no other calls. Later that day, he called back and he says, wow, that was quite a message you left. Uh, who was that girl you were talking to? And I was like, what are you talking about? I, I wasn't talking to any girl. Well, as it turns out, the message didn't end after I said bye. I had to go over to his house and listen to this message a few times. After my initial message that I did leave, as quoted above, there was a slight pause and it continues on for another 30 to 40 seconds or so with me talking to some girl. It was my voice, but a conversation I never had with a girl whose voice I didn't recognize. You can compare it to the message I, I know I did leave and the two voices were indistinguishable. Not just the voice, but you know, talking mannerisms. It was my voice. Also references to my occupation and activities were the same. Basically in this conversation, I was talking to this girl about going skiing, but I had to go down to my shop and work on a car first, which totally correlated to me. Then the message just stopped. It was recorded on one of those digital answering machines that recorded the message to a chip. So there was no tape I could have taken and analyzed, unfortunately. Also, neither I nor my friend had party lines, so that's not an explanation. It was very freaky. I can't explain it. This next post was by Ninix Time, who writes about a time he may have seen parallel universe versions of his own family. The story goes like this. Around the age of 11, my family decided to go and visit my grandparents, and while we were there, I decided to go out and play around for a bit. They lived in a flat in the middle of the city. They had a road that had stores and a car park on the right, and had enough space for me to play around with my friends that lived there. As I got down and ran to that car park, a car went past that nearly crashed into me, and in that car, there were three passengers. A woman, her daughter, and a male driver. As I dodged that car, they looked like they had no emotions whatsoever and looked really dull. And as I focused into the car, the male driver was my dad. Very easily distinctive. And the car was our car. Same color, same car plates, same everything. I instantly ran to our car, thinking it had been stolen, but our car was sitting right there. I turn around to follow the car that nearly hit me, but it was no longer there. I ran upstairs to my grandparents' house without knowing what to do or what to say. Luckily, my sister was right by the door, and I told her the story and what I saw. She just laughed, telling me that my dad hadn't left the house yet. Next up, we have a post with the heading, Sudden and Short Shift into Parallel Universe by B.B. Shuri which goes as follows. I was very much in love with a guy, and one day we were hanging out in his car, just chilling. He was telling me a story about his nephew, who had a schizophrenic episode or something, and I was just listening, totally into the story, when suddenly I found myself sitting in a different car with him. This specific car was an old timer, and I had a wedding dress on. He had on a tuxedo. I remember feeling so happy and elevated, and he was a little bit grumpy because we were waiting for someone and there was this time pressure. We had to be at the venue. The scene lasted maybe five seconds, but everything was so real. I could feel the air, the atmosphere. I could feel my wedding dress, the temperature, the emotions, everything. I remember looking outside the window and seeing that we were parked beside a building and the person we were waiting for was in the building. The building was on a hill surrounded by nature. In a snap, I was back in the regular car with him right at the moment he was finishing his story. I have no idea what he told me. At the time, I didn't know what the frig just happened, but now I can maybe see it as a glitch into a parallel universe where we did get married. Number six, good times, dad times. Coming from Reddit user ApprehensiveHumor55, they say, when I was young, from the ages of around three to 10, I was truly convinced I'd already lived a full life. I remember being around 40 years old with a wife and three kids, two boys and a girl, and then one day I just woke up as a child and my past was all just a big blur with random memories that would come to me here or there. I'm smiling because this is funny, but like it's so scary. This is my biggest fear, I think, in life. It made no sense. My parents said that I used to tell stories about when I was a dad, and they would just laugh it off and be like, oh, that's your imagination, obviously. But deep down, I genuinely did have these strange memories of a past life. For instance, when I was four years old, my family went to Disney World, and the whole car ride down, I was telling stories about when I was a dad, and I went to Disney World. <laughs> just a kid in the backseat with milk, like, oh yeah, these roads. Still haven't fixed them. 
The weirdest thing is that when we got to Disney World, I knew that I'd already been there before. I knew where everything in the park was and was essentially showing my family everything. At that time, my family just thought it was weird that I knew where everything was, but at the time in my head, it all made sense. To me, I just knew where all the rides were because of when I was a dad. After a while, I stopped telling these stories of when I was a dad because my siblings would always make fun of me for it. I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing, this is my worst, you, you, I'm laughing at you a little bit, this is crazy. Eventually, I just started going on with my life and haven't thought about much of it since, although I wish I did because the memories back then were much more vivid and real than how they are now. He's gonna be so confusing, 30 years to his kids, he's like, ah, oh, when I was a dad for the first time, Disney was way less busy. Kids are like, first time? What other family? What are you talking about? <laughs> Why is mom crying? <laughs> That's so scary. Um, I buy into this. I don't know, the afterlife, maybe that past dad died and then you were reborn? I don't know, that's scary, I don't wanna think of it. Number five, spirit animal. Do you believe in spirit animals? I kinda do, I want to at least. Ever since I watched Harry Potter, I always wanted a Patronus. Mine would be a frog for sure, it'd be like a little, little, little lanky frog. Wouldn't be cool at all. This next one makes me want to believe. Coming from user Less Cold, they say, about 30 years ago, I was a young college student heading back to college after break in an overnight bus. I was about 19, didn't drink or anything, had no history of mental illness, and was reading a book when seamlessly, I wasn't in the bus anymore. Anymore. I was now swimming around a rock formation which I knew was part of my hunting territory and was chasing a fish which I then caught in my mouth and could feel the bones crushing between my teeth and it wriggling against my whiskers. That's how they posted it. No in between. They're just like, yeah, I was reading a book and all of a sudden I'm a fish. I was totally at ease. I was fast and agile and I could feel the drag of the water like, you know, the pull of the current question mark. I like how they included that mansplaining the current of the water. They're like, I being a fish know this, but do you know about this? I'm like, yeah, we know about currents, man. <sighs> I'll continue. As I moved effortlessly through it, I knew my body and where I was going and what I was doing and there was no alarm whatsoever that anything was amiss. You know, I didn't realize that I was really a 19 year old on a bus. The whole experience couldn't have lasted longer than 30 seconds or so and then just as seamlessly as I once was there, I was then again back on the bus. I remember sitting there for a second staring at the page of my book before, you know, having a WTF just happened reaction kicked in and then I had a bit of a mental freak out. Then a few years later I saw a documentary about sea otters and I knew then that that's what I had been for that brief moment in time. I knew it's impossible Possible, but it happened to me and surely I can't be the only one. I don't know, man. I've never been a sea otter before. Chris, have you been a sea otter? You don't think so. You don't think. You never know. Never say never, though. Has anybody ever heard of something like this or have, has it happened to you? Have you been reading a book and then all of a sudden you're a sea otter eating a fish with whiskers? If so, sound off down below. Sea otters are just smacking the keyboard. They're like, help. Help me switch back. Number four, switching universes. Coming from Mulks23, this one is so specific that it may very well just be real. Honestly, I'm a little convinced. I've been wanting to share this for some time now. A few months ago, one morning, I believe when I woke up, I did so to a different universe. Similar to ours, but different in some aspects. Before I went to sleep the night before, I kept my Surface tablet on my nightstand and it was absolutely fine. The next day when I opened it though, I could see a large crack across the top. There was nothing, repeat nothing, that could have caused the crack. I was disappointed, of course, the tablet's new, but I didn't think much of it. However, over the course of the following days, I noticed some things slash events are significantly different than how I remember them to be. An actress that I know was married to a gangster, is happily now married to a businessman. A different actress married said gangster, a name that I would have definitely known. I'm from India and I settled in US and this is a Bollywood actress in question. A series that was being released on Amazon Prime is now on Netflix, question mark. Yeah, that happens all the time. I'm still asking those questions myself. I'm watching Harry Potter on like three different platforms. Like, what's going on? The movie Morbius, I've seen this movie. I thought they must have remade this or something, but nope, it was a new movie. A few other things as well, but those I can attribute to misplaced memories. Not the above though. Also, I definitely did not hit my head or anything which could have caused me to remember things differently. I mean, after all of that, I gotta ask, how is Morbius? It doesn't look that bad, honestly. Hope Spider-Man's in it. Thanks for sharing, Mulks23. Hopefully you're in the right universe. Number three, Cosmic Commute. This one has me stumped, folks, I'm not gonna lie. Username IcyFlame2U says, in January, I left my friend's home at almost midnight. I live not even 10 minutes north of her. I remember getting in my car and then boom, I'm pulled over by the police. It's 2.10 a.m. now, and I'm one hour north of her, close to crossing state lines. In a city I have never been to, I don't even know how to get out there and what freeways I took, as we are not really close to any freeways. How did I get there, and what happened to a whole extra hour? When I returned home, I was having such anxiety from it all that I was throwing up and everything. We just don't understand what happened. The comments were supportive here. Some suggest to look into epilepsy, but the OP responded right after saying that they did, and luckily that wasn't the case. So, what do you guys think it is? Comment down below. I think definitely a time leap. That's pretty crazy. Number two, dog treats and universe leaps. Anything involving dogs, I buy into it. I mean, who would lie about dogs for attention, right? Only psychos, I guess. Username, meme man, 42069 says, when I was getting ready to go to my brother's house, I packed some stuff
stuff for my dog since he was coming. I put my dog's toys, leash, two dog shirts, and treats. I packed them all up, and when I got to my brother's house, I was looking for my dog's treats, and my dog's treats were not there. I vividly remember putting my dog's treats in a bag, and the weird thing was, when I got home, his treats were in the exact spots that I picked it up from, and it didn't fall out of the bag, and somebody didn't put it back because I live alone. So I was thinking maybe I slipped into a parallel universe where I didn't pack my dog treats. I've been weirded out by it for the past year, and I've been trying to come up with a better reason. I mean, that sounds alarming, 100%, but panicking about anything that involves dog treats, it's just hilarious to me. Sorry. Yeah, I hope you figure out your problem, but more importantly, I hope your dog doesn't get stiffed on treats again. And finally, number one. 2016 again. This one caught my attention. It caught it real, real bad. Posted five days ago by user Silence v Silence. They say the universe is currently shifting, and it has been the past few days. The last time a change took place like this was November 2016-ish. Some of you already know this. I'm sure you felt it in the air over the past week, like I have. It feels positive. I hope it is. First comment has tons of upvotes here, and it says your ears ringing real bad too? Question mark. This is insane because my ears have been ringing a lot in the past month. I mentioned it to Olivia. Swear to God. Are your ears ringing? I don't know, what universe are we in? Do we want a part two of this list? Hit that thumbs up if so. Number 10, the London Hammer. Many times in history, people have found objects that they think could be evidence of a parallel universe intersecting with our own. Those thoughts were raised again when in 1936, a hammer was found in London, Texas. While on a walk, a couple found a hammer that looked like ones that had been used in the late 1800s. So cool, they found an old hammer. Well, there's actually much more to it. The hammer had not rusted at all and still hasn't since it's been found. And it was also found encased in rock that dated back to the Cretaceous period. For those of you who don't know, that's around 100 million years ago. This is obviously weird because most people agree that humans only started popping up around 200,000 years ago. So how could this hammer have come to exist? Some people believe that it's the remnant of a parallel universe where humans developed long before they did on our Earth, or that it had potentially traveled back in time. If you live in Texas and want to check out this infamous hammer for yourself, you can find it at Carl Bowes Creation Evidence Museum in Glen Rose, Texas. Number 9. Black Holes the existence of black holes is one of the greatest yet unexplained wonders of our universe, the first picture of a black hole only having been taken back in 2019. So how are they evidence of parallel universes? Well, let's get into some science here. Black holes are so hard to study because everything we've sent out there to try and get information is never seen again, people assuming that it's destroyed upon entering the hole. But Stephen Hawking said that whatever enters a black hole does come out, but it comes out out in another universe. Because of the law of conservation of mass, even if something is destroyed, evidence of its presence would still be able to be seen. They would be visible in hair-like images that trace its path into the black hole. But Stephen Hawking noticed that evidence showed these hairs were not present, meaning the item has completely disappeared from our universe. And I'm really hoping this is making sense. Stephen Hawking says that this is good evidence that they have been transported to another universe, saying black Black holes are not the eternal prisons that we once thought. Number 8. Cloud City In October of 2015, Chinese citizens were shocked by what appeared to be a floating city within the sky. Multiple people taking photos and videos of the cityscape that seemed to loom above them within the clouds. The shape was far too specific to brush it off as being anything man-made, and looked to clearly be a cloud city. People were left wondering what it could be, and theories popped up of parallel universes, or even secret holographic technology. There was no time to answer these questions or speculate if it had even happened at all as the exact same thing took place again in China in March of the following year. More photos and videos popping up again of the incident. Many people believe that this supposed city in the sky is evidence of another universe crossing over into our own. Feel free to take a look at the pictures for yourself and make your own decision. Number 7. Deja Vu Have you ever been walking down the street and gotten the sudden feeling like you'd done that before even though you haven't? This is a phenomenon that is known as deja vu or already seen. As of yet, there is no real scientific explanation for why people all over the world experience these feelings. And there are theories that range from memory problems to glitches in the matrix. People who believe that deja vu is evidence of parallel universes describe it like this. Think of a radio where you can only hear one frequency at a time. The parallel universes beside us are at different frequencies, however it's possible that 
that for one small moment, the universes might vibrate at the same frequency and become in sync. Since parallel universes are all supposedly just slightly different, when these in sync moments happen and you believe that you've already had this conversation before, it's possible that you feel that way because you did, just in a parallel universe. All right, the simulated multiverse theory. The simulated multiverse theory suggests that our entire universe is basically a massive computer simulation. Imagine our reality being like a highly advanced video game or computer program that we're just unknowingly living inside of, and everything we experience is generated by some incredibly powerful computer. Now, who could be the ones running this simulation? It could be extraterrestrial beings with highly advanced technology or even humans from the far future running a simulation to learn about their own ancestry, like a gigantic virtual reality experiment. But if our universe is just one big simulation, there could be countless other simulations running simultaneously, each representing a separate universe with its own unique set of rules. Basically, it's just a bunch of alien children learning about us, and uh, you know, they're all just in their own little uh, screens, watching different versions of it. Next, we have the string theory multiverse. So scientists have a theory called string theory. Instead of thinking of particles as tiny dots, they imagine them as super tiny vibrating strings. So string theory says that there are more than just the usual three dimensions of space and of time that we're used to. Imagine there are extra dimensions, but they're so tiny and curled up that we can't see them in our everyday lives. Mathematicians call these curled up dimensions Calabi Yao manifolds, which are basically complex shapes used to describe these hidden dimensions. In the world of string theory, these extra dimensions can have different configurations or setups, kind of like multiple radio stations, each playing a different song. In this case, each configuration could represent a different set of physical laws and constants, the rules that govern how things work in our universe. Our universe, in this grand scheme of things, is like tuning into one specific radio station. But according to the string theory multi idea, there are countless other stations out there, each playing its own unique tune or each representing a different universe. So why does our universe have the particular rules that it does? The string theory multiverse brings in something called the anthropic principle. The principle says that the reason our universe has the specific laws it does is because those laws allow for the existence of life. If things were different, we wouldn't be here to even ponder it. Our next sciencey theory on the list is quantum entanglement. So let's imagine we have two particles, we'll call these particle A and particle B, and these two particles become entangled. This means that they're somehow connected in a way that the state of one particle instantly influences the state of the other, no matter how far apart they are. This actually happens. This is very strange because in our everyday understanding of the world, information can't travel faster than the speed of light, but with entanglement, changing in one particle state seems to happen instantaneously in the other, even if they're light years apart. So how does this relate to the possibility of parallel universes? Well, one idea is that the particles exist in multiple states at the same time until we observe them. And when we observe one particle, it instantly affects the other particle's state, no matter the distance. Some scientists speculate that when we observe one particle and it chooses a particular state, the other particle might be choosing a different state in a parallel universe. Pretty uh, hard to wrap your head around, but uh, all right, this next one is also pretty trippy. See if you can wrap your head around this because uh, I have a hard time doing so, but the holographic multiverse theory. So for this, we need to imagine that our universe is like a giant 3D movie being projected onto a screen and that all of that information making up this cosmic movie projection is actually encoded on the surface of that screen. In simple terms, the holographic principle is based on the idea that the information needed to describe a three-dimensional structure like our universe can be represented in a two dimensional way, like a hologram. So essentially all the details of a 3D object are somehow encoded on a flat surface. So some scientists have suggested that our universe, as we perceive it, might actually be this holographic projection. And this would mean that everything we see around us 
might be a kind of illusion and the real action is happening on the screen or the boundary of our universe. So instead of thinking of separate universes with different physical laws, the holographic multiverse suggests that all these universes, including ours, might be interconnected holographic projections. Each quote unquote projection could represent a different set of physical laws, making it seem like its own distinct universe. This would be like having multiple TV screens, each showing a different channel. These channels or universes might seem independent, but the information that creates them is all encoded on the same screen. Next, we have probably the most mysterious radio signal ever detected, simply known as the wow signal. So in 1977, the Ohio State University's radio telescope received a very odd radio signal from outer space that lasted for about 72 seconds. The signal was so unique and unexpected that astronomer Jerry R. Iman, who was reviewing the data printout, circled the signal and just wrote wow next to it, that, hence giving it that name. What made the wow signal particularly intriguing was its frequency and intensity, which didn't match any known natural source. So what was it? Well, aliens, of course, have always been brought into the conversation but there's also the idea that the signal might be connected to parallel universes. The signal's characteristics were so unusual that some have suggested it could be a form of communication or energy transmission from a parallel universe. Lastly, we have deja vu. Now, this one is a bit different than everything else on this list uh, in that it's a phenomenon we all experience relatively frequently that science hasn't been able to give a convincing explanation for, and that's led to a lot of fascinating ideas as to why it happens, including, of course, the existence of parallel universes. I say science hasn't been able to come up with a convincing explanation because I'm sorry, but no, I do not buy that deja vu is just a experiencing something similar to something you've experienced before. That is just the lamest explanation and it seems to be the only one that the scientific world can come up with. Like, you know what we experience that's very similar day to day? Going to work, waking up, eating foods we've had before, kissing our partner if we're lucky enough to have one. Most of our lives are pretty repetitive day to day, but like we're not experiencing deja vu on a constant basis. When it pops up, it's noticeable, uncanny to an eerie degree. So what's going on here? Well, one idea is that two parallel universes perfectly line up for a brief moment and a version of yourself from a parallel universe is in the same exact situation performing the exact same action at the same time as you. Thus, you get that odd feeling like you've done this before. Number 10, dreams. One theory with dreams is that we are visiting other realities while we sleep. Dreaming has always been a confusing topic for scientists and theorists because we have never gotten a guaranteed correct answer as to what exactly dreams are or why we even get them. One of the bigger theories surrounding dreams is that when we are dreaming, we are actually getting a glimpse into multiple parallel universes and what's happening there. By dreaming, we get to know what other versions of ourselves are doing in their respective universes. So yes, unfortunately one time you did go to school naked. Sorry. Psychologists think that during dreams, we turn information into multi-dimensional design based on our consciousness. Some believe that dreams are a way of our other selves reaching out to us and communicating with us, and it's an interesting theory because you have to take into consideration lucid dreaming and how some people have claimed to go to different realms while dreaming. Now perhaps there exist advanced technology in other universes that allow people to reach out to their other selves. Now I don't know about you guys, but I kind of believe this. I've had dreams where I go through my day as normal, and then the next day when I wake up, everything that happened in my dream happens in real life. Is that another version of me trying to warn myself of future events? Who knows, but it is trippy. Number 9. Black Holes Now some people think black holes are actually portals to other dimensions. This theory was originally put forward by Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking believed that black holes are actually portals to another dimension or parallel universe and that anything that gets sucked into a black hole is actually transported to the other dimension. It has already been scientifically proven that black holes have two openings, so it is pretty plausible to assume that whatever's at the other end might just be a separate reality. Either way, I think we should test it out and see if it really is, and guess what? 
I volunteer's tribute. Number eight, the cosmic bruise. In 2017, scientists at Durham University discovered a weird cold spot in our universe. This cold spot is sometimes referred to as a bruise, and the scientists who discovered it believe that it might have come into existence after our universe collided with another and created an astronomical catastrophe. A controversial claim by Laura Mershini Hooten is that it could be an imprint of another universe beyond our own, caused by quantum entanglement between universes before they were separated by cosmetic inflation. Laura said standard cosmology cannot explain such a giant cosmic hole and made the hypothesis that the cold spot is the unmistakable imprint of another universe beyond the edge of our own. If true, this provides the first empirical evidence for a parallel universe, though theoretical models of parallel universes existed previously. It would also support string theory. The team claims that there are testable consequences for its theory. If the parallel universe theory is true, there will be a similar void in the celestial sphere's opposite hemisphere. What could come as a bigger surprise since then though, a few other cold spots have turned up. So if what those guys at Durham University are saying is true, then our universe has collided with not one, but multiple universes. This is the biggest piece of evidence pointing to the existence of multiple alternate realities or parallel universes. Number 7. Deja Vu No, not the Olivia Rodrigo song, though it's a bop, but the actual experience of Deja Vu. Deja Vu is French for already seen. It's the phenomena of feeling as though one has lived through the present situation before. It is an illusion of memory where despite a strong sense of recollection, the time, place, and context of the previous experience are uncertain or impossible. Approximately two thirds of surveyed populations report experiencing deja vu at least once in their lifetimes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I experience deja vu pretty often and it can sometimes be terrifying. Now, there is no scientific explanation to this, but one theory has led many to believe that deja vu occurs when you do something in sync with your counterparts from other dimensions. For example, a person getting deja vu while getting coffee might be due to their alternate universe self getting coffee at the same time as well. It's both cool and creepy, and to be honest, this makes a lot of sense to me. Number six, the double slit experiment. Okay, this one is very sciencey, so bear with me. The double slit experiment was performed in the 1920s and seemed to offer convincing evidence of potential multiple parallel realities. The theory proposes that if tennis balls were fired at a wall through a single slit, then the marks on the wall would line up with the slit. So if you created two slits, it would create two lines on the wall. And if you fired waves through the wall, they would go through the splits, but still continue to spread out and leave multiple lines on the wall. And electrons should theoretically act in the same way that tennis balls do, but they didn't. They also made multiple lines as though they had been interacting with each other in the way that the waves did. But even when fired one at a time, it still made two sets of waves. For this to happen, it would mean that each electron somehow managed to travel through both slits. When they tried to film the electrons, they instead went back to just forming two lines like tennis balls. So this suggests that while parallel universes may be interacting with our own, we just don't have the technology to see it. Number five, the blue rock. All right, after that, let's go to something way more simple. In fact, let's go to something as simple as a rock. In 1990 in Sierra Leone, West Africa, an archeologist found a puzzling bright blue stone. When it was sent for studies, it was found that it was not similar to anything that could be found on earth. And it was determined that it was not from this planet at all. One person who once held the stone said, it was perplexing and I had no idea what I was looking at. And I had no point of reference to compare it to anything else I had previously seen or handled before. Parts of this stone have come into the possession of many collectors over the years and it is incredibly highly valued, likely because many people believe that similarly to the London Hammer, this is an artifact that has traveled to our own earth from a parallel universe. Number four, the Mandela effect. The term the Mandela effect first came around in 2009, when a woman named Fiona realized that she and many others shared a false memory of Nelson Mandela having died in prison when in reality he was still alive. She created a website to explain her observance of this phenomenon, shocked by just how many people all over the globe could possibly share this false memory. Over the years, many people have come together to share different examples of 
this Mandela effect. Some of the most famous ones being the spelling of the Bernstein Bears title, Darth Vader saying Luke I am your father instead of no I am your father, and Curious George having a tail. Many people believe that a possible explanation for this is that the false memories are correct, but they're correct in a parallel universe, the memories bleeding over into our own world, as how else could so many people share this same fake memory? Number 3. The Cold Spot Alright, back to science once again. When the Big Bang created our universe, the wavelengths of light expanded, changing the color and temperature of the universe to what we now perceive as black, creating the cosmic microwave background which maps the creation of our universe according to the Big Bang. While scientists were studying this background, they discovered what they refer to as the cold spot, being the size of 1.8 billion light years. While also being colder, it apparently also contains 20% less matter than it should. So how could they possibly explain the existence of this cold spot and why it is the way that it is? Well, experts believe that this is evidence of a parallel universe having crashed into ours through quantum entanglement, impact forcing energy out of the area and leaving behind the cold spot. Number 2. The Hadron Collider Researchers at the Super Collider in Switzerland started researching in 2015, hoping to find evidence of alternate universes. They have done various different tests trying to find these parallel universes that would not exist in the visible three dimensions of our own universe, but instead be made up of dimensions that we cannot perceive. One scientist theorized that the Hadron Collider could reveal particles that could only exist in these other dimensions, and being able to see them would give us almost undeniable evidence of the existence of parallel universes in line with our own. She said that these particles would have the exact same properties of particles in our own universe, but would have greater mass. All of this is still theoretical right now, but plenty of theoretical things from the past have been discovered and made reality, so it may not be long. Number 1. The Tower Ed Traveler In 1954, a European plane landed in Tokyo. On the plane was a man who spoke several different languages, and he told the people there that he was visiting on business. He then gave them his passport, which said that he was coming from a place called Taured. If you've never heard of this country, then don't worry, you're not alone. That's because it doesn't actually exist, and it's a fictional country that is in between the borders of France and Spain. The man's passport was visa stamped, and he even provided a bank statement from the Tau Red Bank. His documents were taken and held in airport security, while the man was left in a guarded hotel room waiting for police to arrive. But when they got there, the man was gone. People believe that this man was a visitor from a parallel universe where European history was different and led to the creation of the country of. If you enjoyed these proofs of parallel universes, then you have to check out this video about time travel evidence that has been found throughout history. Click the video now.